everyone, welcome to Room 120 News, your place to find out everything that's going on in our school and in our classroom this week. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful fall weather as much as I am. It was so nice this morning to wake up and get to put on like a flannel and just get like kind of cozied up and enjoy some fall um, activities today. Um, Thank you to everyone that came out last week for our get the uh, start the day on the right track event. Um, it was so great to see so many fi um, families and parents coming out um, to support their child and hear what we're learning in our classroom. Just a reminder to please check your child's homework folder nightly and sign the homework contract. There's important information on that nightly about events and different things that um, we're asking you to do at home. I'm also putting the sports invite um, back in Todd times. In case you're interested in me coming to one of your child's sporting events um, or extracurricular activities, I would love to see what they are um, doing in their free time. <coughs> this week, we're starting a new homework. Um, so the math book will still be optional, but we're starting a new must-do every night. So um, tomorrow in your child's folder, you will get a fluency passage with a half sheet staple to the top. And what we want you to do is time your child nightly um, and then record how many words per minute they read that passage in. This is gonna do a few things. Number one, it's going to inc increase their fluency and help them just become better readers with some high frequency words. But it's also gonna give you an opportunity to see kind of where they are um, and then um, get an idea of um, kind of where we should go from here. So um, please make an effort to do that nightly. If you forget a night, we totally understand that like life is busy and like people have things going on, but please, please, please try to take just a minute out of your time. Um, it will not take long at all. It's a, a pretty short passage. Um, and just to see how many words your child reads um, in that one minute. Just a reminder to please return your child's school pictures back to school. Um, the pictures are not free, um, and they do have to either be purchased or returned. Um, we're trying to get all pictures back or purchase money back this week. Um, so if you could do that, that would be fantastic. Go ahead and mark your calendars for October 30th and October or <laughs> October 31st. Um, there's going to be a sign up in Todd Times and in the email today. So two places you can find that link um, for you to sign up for a beginning year parent teacher conference. On the evening of October 30th, we'll be doing evening conferences um, until um, I think seven o'clock is going to be the last one. Um, and then on October 31st, it's a teacher workday, so I'll be available all day for morning and afternoon and midday conferences. So there's a sign up, and the slots will be first come first served. Um, these are going to be required meetings, so please make an effort to sign up for one. Um, it is required by me that I meet with every parent. Like That is just like a non-negotiable that I have um, for the beginning of the year because I really want to um, tell you how great your child is doing and then really give you some guidance on how I, we can work together to make sure that they're successful by the end of the year. So please look at that sign up. If there is absolutely no date that works for you or no time on one of those two days, please, 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 please let me know. And I will look at my calendar and we will figure something out. That's how important these meetings are to me and how crucial it is that you um, that there's one that works for you. Up next is looking ahead where you will find out everything that's going to happen in the future of our school and in our classroom. I mentioned it earlier, but I just want to make sure that it goes on your calendar. Mark your calendars for um, the 31st of October, which is Halloween. I believe it's on a Tuesday. Um, that's going to be a teacher work day and the parent-teacher conference day. So please just mark your calendars for that day as children will not be in school. Also, just be considering, um, we're going to be, I'm going to be asking for um, a couple families, four to five families to send a pumpkin by the end of the month to do some pumpkin math with. So that sign up will come up, come out next week. So just be considering if you and your family are able to donate a pumpkin, that would be fantastic. We've seen like a standard size carving pumpkin. It doesn't have to be from like a pumpkin patch or anything. It could literally just be from the grocery store. So just be considering if you are going to be willing and able to sign up for that because it would be wonderfully and greatly appreciated. Up next is Curriculum Corner, where you will find out everything that's going to happen in the future of our classroom. Mm -hmm. 
This week in math, we're going to be looking at place values. So students are going to be looking at ones, tens, and hundreds, and how you can group ten ones together to make a ten, and ten tens together to make a one hundred, and ten hundreds together to make a thousand. So students will be working with those, working with different manipulatives and different things to get that number sense down. In reading, we are continuing in Module 1 of Wit and Wisdom that focuses on fall and how it causes change for people and nature. This week we'll be looking at a book by Leo, Leo Leone, um, A Color of His Own. It's about a chameleon that um, <clears throat> feels out of place because he doesn't have his own color. He changes. Um, so we'll be looking at a bunch of different things with that this week. In science, we're starting, um, we're actually starting science. We've been in social studies since the first day of school. And so in science, we're starting sound. And so we're going to be talking about what is sound and how are we able to hear it? Like what parts of our ear work together with our brain in order to help us hear sounds. And then finally in foundations, we're starting something brand new in foundations and I'm super, super excited about it. So we're going to be splitting up into foundation groups now. So students will be going to different classrooms based on their needs for foundations. So some students need a slower pace on foundations and some could have a more excelled pace. And so we have um, divided as second grade teachers up the students and so they'll be going to different places depending on what their need is. So. Um, in, in this portion of the news, um, I can't say, like, we're going to be working on this unit or this, um, but you can, um, I'm going to just link some general foundations resources for you to practice with your child in the newsletter, um, Todd Times, but just know that it might not be exactly what they're working on with whatever foundation group they're in. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I know that it was a lot of information and a pretty long episode, but I appreciate your partnership with me um, as your child's teacher and making sure that they have the best education possible. So thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 120 News.